Hello and welcome. I'm Lindsay. Today we are going to be doing a little sequence to go through preparing our bodies for sleep. So grab anything that's going to make you feel more comfortable. I've got nice socks on to make me feel a little bit warmer. Um, I've got a little blanket here. I've got a bolster. If you haven't got a bolster then you can use your pillows or use the pillows off your bed because they're quite nice and long and fluffy. So just grab whatever you feel you need for a nice comfortable practice and when you're ready let's begin. So we're going to begin today in a nice child's pose. So the blanket's nice here so that it's nice and um, comforting for your knees. So take the knees out as wide as the mat, big toes touch and take, just take a nice big inhale, send the breath into the belly and then on the exhale just walk the hands forward and come all the way down as far as you can down onto the mat. If you need a pillow to rest your head on, then go for it. Allow yourself just to prop yourself up and feel good. And just send the breath into the belly. Close off the eyes. If you've got maybe a little gap between the heels and the hips, Put a little cushion there just to help the hips sink down and relax further into the mat. This is your practice and your body, so just do whatever you feel. There's no right, there's no wrong. Now just bring the awareness to the breath. Allow the shoulders just to fully relax. Bring awareness to the shoulders and just see whether or not they're close to the ears. If they are, then just let them go. Just relax the shoulders away from the ears. If having the forehead on the mat is uncomfortable, then just turn the head to the side. Keep breathing, just focus on the breath. Just completely arrive on the mat. If the head is turned to the one side, now just turn it to the other side, just to even off the stretch through the neck. compression in the hips. Feel the belly expand with every inhale, forward every exhale. Just focus on you. Very gently, we're going to prepare our body to move. So if the head is to the side, just bring the head back to a neutral position. And we're going to go straight into a sphinx. So we're going to be shifting the weight forward. And then coming down to lie onto the belly. Again, it doesn't matter how you get there. Just ease your way in. And then bring the arms to like a figure 11 in front of you. Elbows over underneath the shoulders. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. I just spread my fingers, but my hands are relaxed. No clenching in the body. Just allow the legs just to be. Keep them hip distance apart. Just 
allow yourself to be propped up by the elbows. There's a slight bit of effort here, but nothing major. I invite you to close off the eyes. Keep breathing down into the belly. If this is too much for you in the lower spine, then just walk the hands forward a little bit, just to ease off the lower spine. Or if you've got a cushion, you can push a, put a cushion underneath the underarms. Again, just find ease, find comfort, find what works for you. Find a place that you can sustain just to be here. Clear in the mind. We very often are very busy throughout the day and then we just decide that we want to go to sleep. And we haven't prepared our bodies, we haven't prepared our minds. We just decide that we need to go to bed because we have things that we have to do tomorrow or because it's a certain time. I'm, I feel like we set ourselves up to fail slightly. That's where a practice like this is so good. Where you just focus on you. You focus on the breath. And you work through anything that's going on you relax your body so then you should be able to get into bed and have a really good sleep keep breathing relax the shoulders away from the ears stay focused this is your time head feels like it just wants to hang down. If that feels good, just to release the neck. Then try that. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. The main purpose of this is you showing up on your mat, giving yourself time and preparing yourself to go to sleep. very gently. If the head is forward, bring it back to neutral. And we're preparing ourselves to move. We're going to be walking the hands back and push ourselves back up to all fours. And then come to sit down on the sit bones with the legs out in front for our butterfly. Blanket's really nice here because it just lifts the hips up a little bit, offers that little bit of support. And then I'm going to grab my bolster in preparation. Just allow the feet to fall open onto the outside edges. Try and keep your spine relatively straight, but as in try not to hunch forward just yet. And then draw the feet in so the soles are together and just see where you are today just gauge it there's no you don't have to have your heels right up here it's just all about opening up the hips and relaxing through if you have any pillows or bolsters just bring them to rest over the feet and then very gently inhale, fill the belly full of oxygen and then exhale, just round down over the pillow. Just take your time getting down, explore the posture, see how the hips feel. You might need a few pillows but just try and get it to a point where you can rest your forehead onto a pillow. And then just sink into the posture. Palms face up, 
arms going forward in the direction of the feet, the shoulders relaxed. If this is quite painful, or it shouldn't be painful, but if you have quite a lot of sensation here, just prop pillows underneath the knees. You can prop yourself up as much as you need to. Sometimes it can be quite difficult just to allow the hips just to open. So just stuff some pillows, give yourself support. And if the ground can't support you because you can't reach the ground, just support from the ground up. Find that place that you can just be fully supported by the ground with props, allowing you just to fully surrender. And then that's where you can go within. Focus on the breath. Keep breathing down into the belly. Every exhale, just sinking and releasing just a little bit more. Try not to let the mind run away with things. If it does, then so be it. Just accept it, but then bring yourself back to your breath. There's no point being annoyed at yourself. Our minds are built to be busy, to absorb information. It's staggering the amount of information that we can absorb in our minds per second. That's perfectly natural, but we just want to focus on the breath. Find that focus. Maybe now start to lengthen the exhale. Counting works for you. Maybe inhale for four, exhale for six. Just find what works. A few more breaths here. Exhaling for six. And then we're just going to prepare our bodies to move. We wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. If the palms are facing up, then plant them down to the mat. Just use the hands just to push yourself back up. Rounding through the spine so your head comes up last to avoid any sort of fuzziness or dizziness. Just take a moment here. You can keep the eyes closed if you wish. And then very gently, in your own time, make your way down into Savasana. A little break in between postures the chin slightly ensure the shoulder blades are both nestling into the mat palms face up feet fall out continue with that breath cycle if the counting is working for you then just let my voice guide you through the next three postures but focus on the breath very gently. Again, we're just going to prepare our body to move. Wiggle the fingers and toes. And start by drawing the right knee in towards the chest. Interlace the fingers just below the knee. 
for our wind removing pose. Keep the chin tucked so the spine is nice and long. Just gently encourage the knee out to the side of the body so it's underneath the underarm. Just to give the internal organs and the belly some space. And then just have a gentle pull. Keep breathing down into the belly. Feel that compression in the hip. So the arms are slightly active in this posture just to allow the pull. But both feet are relaxed. Both legs are relaxed. It's nice working on the opposites of the body. Lengthening one side and then compressing the other. Bring awareness to the hip, the compressed hip, and just notice how it feels. There should be no pain here, just a sensation. If you can really feel like quite a strong sensation, then ease off with the pull. A few more breaths here. And then very gently, enjoy the release. Just start to let the leg release down to the mat. And notice how that feels. And then take a moment, pause. And notice how one hip feels to the other before we take it to the other side. And draw the other knee in. Interlace the fingers. And just encourage the knee out to the side of the body, under the underarm. Relax both the feet. Keep the chin tucked. Relax the shoulders down. And just have a gentle pull. Enjoy some belly breaths here. Remember, stay focused on you, focused on the breath. Your next destination is sleep. So keep that as your, as your focus. It's worth noting, if you feel like you just want to go to sleep here, then go for it. Give yourself permission. If this part has worked so far, then just go. Enjoy. Have a beautiful sleep. And then we're just going to release the knee. Again, release nice and slowly. Take in those sensations. And then we're just going to draw both knees in. Lift up slightly and give yourself a hug. And then relax the head back down. Try and tuck the chin if you can. Feel the compression in both hips. Relax the feet. Maybe have a little rock from side to side here. Explore the posture, see what works for you. And then make a stop in the center. Release the arms, but keep the knees bent. Take the arms out, you can take them into cactus arms so you're bending at the elbows. And then just drop the knees down to the right. You might need pillows, so if you just want to move any pillows to the side, just to prop your knees up if they don't go all the way down to the ground. And then turn the head on your next exhale in the opposite direction. A full spinal twist. 
and from the top of the head down to the coccyx. It's so good for getting all the energy, fresh energy going up and down the spine again. We get so many blockages sometimes due to the way we sit, any tension that we're holding. There's so many things that go on in the body. But just having a posture like this, just to sit and lie down in, surrender in, just breathe in up and down the spine. It's so beneficial. Notice if you're holding on to any tension. If you are, try and let it go. If you can't release it, then maybe you need to support yourself with extra blankets or pillows and that might guide you into full surrender. If this is too much in the neck, then just release the head just to face back up again. If the cactus arms are too much, then just release the arms down by the side, palms face up. You're looking for comfort, so just find what works for you. Last few breaths here. And then very gently, use the hands if you need to, just to push the knees back up to center. Give yourself a hug again. And then move any props from one side over to the other. And then when you're ready, drop the knees over to the opposite side. There's no rush. Find where you want your arms to be on this side. And your head position, whether it's face up or looking over the opposite shoulder so you get that full twist. Keep breathing. Stay focused on yourself. Try not to let the mind wander. Feel the belly expand with every inhale, fall with every exhale. Maybe bring awareness to if this feels any different on this side to it did on the other. Maybe you need more props or less props. No judgment, just acceptance. but doing that self-study of what we need on different sides, where we need more support. This self-study can help us throughout the day, giving ourselves what we need during our day-to-day -day practices our day jobs, shopping, sitting in the car, all things like that. Very gently preparing ourselves to move. Again, if the arms are up, bring them down just to help you draw the knees back up to center. Give yourself one final hug. Maybe a roll down the spine before you make your way into your final savasana. Take your time getting there, ease your way in. 
take the legs out as wide as you need to. Palms face up. Feet just fall out. And just arrive. If you're close to your bed and you want to have your final shavasana in bed, then 100% go for it. Just stay focused. Try not to let the mind wander. Keep lengthening that exhale. Thank you so much for practice, everybody. I hope now that you can have a really good night's sleep. Remember, you can come back to this video at any point. They need that extra little help in hand just to get back to sleep. Have a beautiful rest, everybody. Namaste.